Hello everyone, thank you for attending my session. My name is Kazuhito Yokoi. I am a software engineer at Hitachi. Today, I will talk about Nodelet Installer, which is a standalone installer using Electron. Let me start. The first slide is about the background of the factory modernization. In modern factory, Low-code development is essential for non-IT engineers to create their original solutions. These are examples of factory modernization use cases. The bottom picture is a typical IoT system to realize these use cases. In the system, the edge computer collects the sensor data or image data from the production lines. The computer analyzes the data and visualizes them to the dashboard or LCD. As needed, it controls the robot in the production lines. Thanks to low code tool, non IT engineers can develop the system and improve them by themselves based on their knowledge about the production lines. This slide introduces Nodelet. Nodelet is a local programming tool for IoT and web applications. It is a browser-based environment running on Node.js, and more than 3,000 connectors exist in the Nodelet community. For example, there are connectors for industry IoT protocols, data visualization, and image recognition. Nodelet can develop systems from chip to cloud. Therefore, you can select the environments which you need. If you visit the Nodelet official website, you can understand who is using Nodelet. As you can see here, there are currently 31 logos on the website. A lot of companies have used Nodelet in their production systems. Next, I will explain our problem which we encountered in our production systems. There are conflicting backgrounds between JavaScript technologies and industry IoT fields. First, JavaScript technologies tend to require internet connections to download components. For example, as you know, the npm command accesses the npm repository on the internet. In another case, TensorFlow models are also available on the internet. On the other hand, mission-critical IoT systems inside factories are in the closed network to be as stable as possible. Due to this situation, we encountered the problem when installing and upgrading Node-RED. To solve the problem, we considered two solutions as follows. The first is the container image, which includes all of the components. The advantage is that the Node-RED project has published the official image, so we can easily create a custom container image from the official one. But some IT knowledge is required to utilize Docker environments. The second one is the standalone installer, it is easy for non-IT engineers to install Node-RED, but in terms of open source software development, it is hard to support various operating systems. To accomplish this disadvantage, we used Electron and started to develop the Node-RED installer. This slide explains about Node-RED installer, which we developed. It is a standalone installer including Node.js, Node-RED connectors, and Node-RED, as you can see on the bottom left diagram. Installers are available for three operating systems. To be the same as the existing Node-RED, it behaves as a server. Therefore, the browser engine in Electron is not used currently. Instead of that, external browsers are used to access the Node-RED Flow Editor. 
This slide is about how to build the installers. To generate native installers, we used Electron Builder. If additional NPM modules or components are required, we need to download them in advance. For the environment to build, we are currently using Travis CI, but according to the document, it is early stage as a Windows environment. Therefore, I tried GitHub Actions instead of Travis CI. Build installers are MSI file for Windows, DMZ file for Mac OS, dev and RPM file for the Linux environments. This is a demonstration to install Nodelet to Windows PC. After clicking the installer file on the desktop, the installer automatically sets up the Nodelet environment. On the task tray area, the new icon emerged to select the open browser or exit the Nodelet process. After opening the Nodelet flow editor on the browser, you can create your flow as usual. This slide illustrates an advanced demonstration. It is object detection in automated lines. In this factory, the cameras are capturing images in this production line. Using the captured image, the edge computer categorizes the object using the TensorFlow.js model. When the target object is detected, the robot arm moves the object to another line. This is actual Nodelet flow. After the camera connector retrieves the image, the TensorFlow.js connector analyzes it. When a bottle is detected, the Nodelet controls the arm immediately. Now, I'm reaching the end of my presentation. Let me briefly summarize the main points which I talked about today. First, we found that the Electron is suitable for packaging components for offline environments. Second, the Electron-based installer makes it easy for non-IT engineers to install Node-RED inside factories. As the next step, we need to consider how to install third-party connectors in Node-RED. Additionally, to use the Electron functionality, we are going to design desktop UI experiences. In the last slide, please allow me to introduce information about Node-RED. First, there are online articles. On the Linux Foundation blog, linux.com, you can read articles related to today's session. The second one is the Node-RED conference. To share use cases in enterprise, community members held annual Node-RED conferences two years in a row. At the end of this year, we are going to hold the conference online. The third is the Node-RED book. Recently, one of community members published a Node-RED book. I've contributed to this book as one of the tech reviewers. If you are interested in Node-RED, please check these contents. That's all. Thank you for watching my session today.